Ddaeth tân. Hallo, mae damwain yn na dwi wedi digwydd. Ok, gael byr bled i chi. O, o ni ddim. Dwi ar y fws i gael dydd. Felly ydy e'n ddarmau'n ffordd? Ydy, mae llawer o gybydau. Ydych chi'n gallu gweld os mae unrhyw'n arll wedi anafu? O, mae'r dyn ti ôl i fi. O, dwi ddim yn dda gyda... Dwi angen i chi siarad i ni. Beth sy'n bod? Mae llawer o waed. Beth am y gyrwyr? Dwi wedi ddim yn dda gwbl. Ok, mae'r periannau tân ar ei ffordd i ddarn hwnnw o'r ffordd. Iawn. Helpi rhywun arall yn un o'r profiadau gorau yn y byd. Mae'n deimlad fantastig. Felly mae cael y cyfle o'r diwedd i wneud y swydd yma yn anhygoel. Mae'n gymaint yn fwy na'r jyst swydd. Dyma swydd gyntaf dwi wedi cael lle mae symud ymlaen ac daplygu yn, yn, yn rhan o'r rôl. Mae gwasanaeth tân ac achub eisiau chi symud ymlaen yn eich gyrfa a gwella a datblygu eich hyn yn fwy. Bydd y gwasanaeth yn gwneud popeth y gallu nhw i chefnogi. Un o'r hoff rhannau swydd yw'r elfen o'r gynnwrf, da chi ddim yn gwybod beth sydd o blaen chi a dechrau'r shift. Da chi ddim yn gwybod pan fydd y clychau yn canu, a da chi ddim yn gwybod pan fydd yn canu. Dwi erioed wedi teimlo cyffro fel hyn. Mae angen nerth gorfforol, ffitrwydd a chryfder meddwl i fod yn ymladd tân. Firefighting is a physically demanding occupation. All of our firefighters are required to maintain levels of fitness to ensure they keep themselves safe, their colleagues safe and the public safe at all times. There are a number of critical activities involved in firefighting. Lifting, lowering and extending ladders, performing exercises like cardiovascular exercises or resistance training are really key to ensure that these activities can be done effectively. All of our firefighters have access to two full-time health and fitness advisors and we work on an individual basis to look at their specific needs and to tailor a physical training program directly for them. I enjoy working in the health and fitness industry and this job allows me to work with firefighters to help them maintain their fitness levels throughout their career. Physical training is just one aspect of the wide variation of training activities that firefighters have to undertake. My name is Laura Norville and I'm a trainee firefighter for South Wales Fire and Rescue Service. I've always enjoyed working as part of a team, just doing something different, something physical. Ever since being a child, I've been a bit of a daredevil. When the bells drop, the adrenaline rush you receive, not knowing what you're going to go to, was really exciting for me. My first day of training, I was quite excited. As well as being excited, I was a bit nervous because I knew it was quite physical, especially the first two weeks. I think the skills you need to be able to do this course, obviously you do need to be physically fit to be able to do all the activities. You also need to be a good team player. Your colleagues are the ones that are going to help you through this course. No matter how strong you are, there are going to be areas and aspects that you will struggle. Your colleagues are the people who are going to help you and take them under their wing. The organisation as a whole, I think it's more like a family. Everyone works together. The instructors are there to push you but they're also, I've never once been scared to ask them, they're there to help you at the end of the day, they're there to support you. And just the passion in everyone working for South Wales Fire and Rescue Service shines through.
I started with South Glamorgan Fire and Rescue Service in 1995 in January. A bit of a, an oddity as I was the first female firefighter that they'd had in uh, full time in Wales. I brought different qualities to the fire service, I think, than the, the traditional male role. I think initially, being the first female, they became overprotective on the watch I was on, first of all. As soon as people can see that you can do exactly the same role as them, and you work as a big team anyway, being a female doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Going on a, a fire engine, you know, on blue lights and the sirens going and members of the public getting away is exciting. All the incidents are all very different, so no two days are the same, but it's a great experience. Being a female, being in charge of fire crews out on the ground doesn't provide any particular challenges to me. It doesn't make any difference what my gender is. I'm just happy that people respect the, the role I'm in, that they react to the commands I give. I think people don't realise the range of careers that are available within the fire service. It's not just about the operation or the fire engines going out of the fire station doors. Don't be put off by the stereotypical images you see on the TV, you know, through adverts and the media perhaps. It is a big organisation and it needs a lot of other departments to function effectively. There are other opportunities, not just being firefighters. Raz Prince, uh, he's a kid at heart for sure. So I started back in the day, 1997, and positioned at an operational fire station. I learnt my craft there for a fair number of years, I'd like to say. Ten years as a firefighter, learning from people with all life experiences. Ten months ago, I decided to uh, apply for the role that I'm currently in, which is a team leader in our Welsh Urban Search and Rescue team. Our main aim in Urban Search and Rescue is to deal with major incidents that involve collapsed structures as well as major transport in highly populated areas. People say, hey, you know, you must be a hero, but, you know, for every person within the fire service, whether in finance, fleet and engineering, we all bring together one complete service, and that is to serve the community. Maybe a number of years ago, firefighters weren't very good in showing their emotions. Me, I'm quite an emotional person. Many years ago, I carried down a young male child from the third floor of a burning building. At the base of the ladder, I was greeted by his parents who embraced me before their child. Secretly, I could have broken down and cried, but um, I think that's, that's the elation you get from the job. Since I joined, there's not a morning that I've not woken up not wanting to come to work. To be in a collective of people, you know, with a name to, to serve their communities, there's no better job. You know, to see people happy, safe and smiling, I think is every firefighter's wish. I'm Hugh Jakeway and I'm the Chief Fire Officer for South Wales Fire and Rescue Service. If you want to be an operational firefighter, the traditional role does not apply here in South Wales. You will be asked to do lots of different things. The largest part of our role, which relatively goes unrecognised, is our life-changing aspect. Everyone's aware of our life-saving, but our life-changing part within our communities where we educate, that relatively goes unnoticed and unrecognised. And, and that is the biggest part of working in South Wales Fire and Rescue Service, being able to communicate right across our communities to reduce risk. That is by far our raison d'etre. What is resounding that comes back is the trust that the communities have in us as a fire and rescue service to deliver professional services at the time that's needed. Thank you.
Mae'r pobl y meddwl mae'r gwasanaeth tân yn ymladd byr tân, ond mae'n mwy tu ôl i hwnna, mae'n popeth tu ôl i fe, a popeth sy'n creu gwasanaeth tân. Dydi di sylwi bod mae'n mwy um, cyfleoedd a swyddi um, mas yn yr um, gorsaf a'r um, gwasanaeth tân. Mae yna bwysig rwydd trwy tri allai hai um, risg i bobl. Petha pwysig dyn ni'n wneud yn y cymuned yw i tri o lleihau i'r nifer o nabiadau mae pobl yn cael mewn tanau, digal a charffyrdd a hefyd lot mwy hefyd. Falle jyst un peth dwi'n dweud, dweud o rhywun a bod nhw'n wneud y newid hwnna a gobeithio bod yn lleihau risg neu peidio hyd yn oed cael tan, mae hwnna'n rhyw beth mae rhaid i chi fod yn ddiolchg ar ar. Gweithio am y gwasanaeth tan a gael chi de Cymru um, yn gwneud fi'n hapus um, a barchus ac yn um, hapus iawn i gweithio yn y cymuned. Working in the fire service and you're dealing with something where people are in distress and it's traumatic, I guess, that it makes you feel that you've been able to help somebody on probably the worst day of their life. I'm really proud to work for the fire service. Uh, people ask well, what's the best thing. I think the variety of opportunities you get, you know, no two days are the same as we, we say in the service. It's a really responsive service which I'm really proud to be a part of. Fire service to me, personally, it's my life. To be in a position to give, it, it, there's nothing better for me to have that opportunity to share uh, collective skills you have within your teams, within the fire stations, within all departments, to serve that community. There's no better job. My Gwasanaeth Tanak Achef De Cymru and Sefydliad Arbennig with an amlwg o'r diwnod cyntaf. Mae nhw'n rhoi bob cyfnogaeth i chi datblygu a llwyddo yn eich gyrfa. Dwi'n ddiolchgar iawn i'r gwasanaeth. The staff for me are everything. They are absolutely everything that South Wales Fire and Rescue Service does, stands for, and its reputation. It's one thing having the name South Wales Fire and Rescue Service, but it's the staff, it's the innovation of the staff, the inspiration of the staff that actually bring that brand to life. It means everything to me. When I look in the mirror every morning before I come to work, I do so with a smile, and there's not a single day that's gone by in my 26 and a half years in the fire and rescue service, but I've not looked forward coming to work. There's not one thing that's special. Everyone plays an integral part. Wherever you work across the organization, the one thing that unites us all is to make our community safer. Niu, Gwasanai Tana Gachib De Cymru. Aminu Khani, a good and gilith, but then in Diogeli and Kamenedai.